What's up, guys and gals? Messenger here, broadcasting deep within the Earth's core, bringing you the latest and greatest in gaming technology. Today, we're going to look at Wonton. If you haven't seen my 10 times higher video on when I got him, you need to check that out. Some of my best roles in a long time. Just saying. But alas... We're going to look at Wonton, we're going to look at his aid skill, his hero skill, a little bit of his evolution, base stats, just a quick overview of the latest hero to hit the realms in Clash of Lords 2. Wonton is his name, he's a panda with a panda pony bob, and he's fat, and he's got wee beady eyes. But first, before we do anything, we're going to level him up. That's right, I've been holding on to a 120 egg for quite some time now, for this very moment, for whenever the next hero was going to be released, and I got that hero. So let's level him up. Base stats, right off the bat. 11,880 HP, 590 attack. Okay, let's take him to 120. Booyah. Looks like we got a bunch of health, some attack. So... We have 64855 HP now and 3,480 attack. One Tunian uses the Executioner style mercenaries. His hero skill is Sucker Punch. Deals some damage to all nearby enemies. Deals twice as much damage to clones. Oh, right off the bat, this... Fat Ass Panda could be my favorite tune to date because he shits on Sharon. I freaking hate Sharon. Oh, finally, a counter to Sharon. That stupid horse, man, thing, whatever. I hate him. Gosh, everyone has him and everyone uses him and he's so annoying and his damn clones can kiss it. Enemy heroes caught in the blast will be stunned for one second. All heroes within melee range will be knocked back. Kind of a little thorn bow action there, right? All targets hit will also have their attack rate reduced by 5% for 8 seconds. Okay, that's a bit of a counter to attack rate style champs like Abyss Demon or maybe Ambrosia kind of anyone that just needs a lot of attack rate kind of a counter to them if no heroes or clones were hit wanton's attack rate will increase by 15 percent his speed by 15 percent and damage reduction by 10 percent for eight seconds okay not too shabby right here at level one but let's see what kind of things we can get when we level this up just a little bit all right so let's look at the stats here um the the damage goes up kind of considerably though just for one level the stun is the same uh let's see what else here okay attack re rate reduction is upped by one percent okay down here his buff kind of gets quite a nice jump here attack rate goes up by four percent from 15 to 19 his speed goes up from 15 to 19. Damage reduction goes up from 10 to 3. Not too shabby. Let's go up here. All right, again, get 1% here at the attack rate. Get another 4% here with the attack rate increase if he doesn't hit anybody. 4% there, another 3 there. So we'll go up here just a wee bit till I can get him. Let's see if I can get him to 7. All right, we got him to seven. So at level seven, let's just look here. Okay, his stun is now two seconds long. Pretty sweet. Nice damage that he does to the enemies that he hits. His attack rate reduction is now 14%. That's pretty substantial. Not bad, and it lasts for nine seconds. If no heroes or clones were hit, his attack rate is now 39% percent speed by 39 percent damage reduction by 28 percent for nine seconds wow pretty sweet stat jumps there okay 
Later on, I might level them up some more, but... Oh. Let's get them to 10. Can I get them to 10? All right. There's 10. I can't do any more. So at level 10, we've got a 2.5 second stun, when he, and he does damage as well, which is pretty sweet. And the thing I like about it is it's a stun without a taunt, so you're just doing straight damage to the thing. Nice. And you stun him. Okay, kind of like a pounder, right? Nope, no big deal. Nothing new there. And they will all be knocked back. That can kind of get annoying at times, because then all your mercenaries and all your other champions have to adjust, but it's a knockback, whatever. Okay, the attack rate reduction is 20% at level 10. I assume at level 20, that's going to be 40%, which is huge. That's huge, right? Holy crap. Huge. If no heroes are hit, this dude's attack rate goes to 51%. That's at level 10. I'm assuming that's going to go to 100% at level 20. And if that's the case, I mean, this, this dude's going to pump out some damage. If you put some attack damage on him, his speed goes up 51%. Damage reduction, 37%. It's going to be hard to kill this guy, especially if you can keep that. I don't know what the cooldown is on this. We'll look at it in a second. But it, it it could be that you can just keep this up almost all the time. And if that's the case, it's going to be hard to kill this guy. Pretty sweet. All right, his aid skill. There it is. Nothing special, in my opinion. Increases deployed hero's hit rate by 6% and dodge by 6%. Uh, it's just okay. Nothing special there. Let's look at his evolution tree. Just the normal shiznickel there. This is where it gets fun. All right. His fortitude vitality. I might be slightly in love with his fortitude vitality. Before it is destroyed, building armor will take 35% less damage from hero skills. A lot of talk before he came out, it was that it would be a 35% damage reduction to buildings in general. That's not so much the case. It's just 35% damage reduction from the skills. So every time that a character, let's just look at one, like say, Berserker, right? Every time I hit his duel and it hits a building, it's going to do 35% less damage to the shield that is on that building. All right. So it's good, but not as great as everyone was hoping. But honestly, if it was 35% damage reduction, period, flat damage reduction to all your buildings, that would be a little insane. But regardless, it's still really good. I mean, you're getting a 35% buff on the shields that you have on your buildings. Pretty sweet. All right, get your finesse blessing, blah, blah, blah. So here's his divine Leo ability. Divine Qi Gong. Fires a pulse at the enemy hero with the highest attack, dealing... 8,000 plus 200% attack damage to it and all nearby targets. Enemy hero will also be silenced for 15 seconds. While silenced, their hit rate will be reduced by 20% and their crit rate will be reduced by 20%. That's pretty sweet for your tanks that have some sort of dodge ability, right? Okay. The pulse will then direct itself at the enemy hero furthest away to deal... 40% less damage, and without the silence effect. All right, so all your backline heroes are just going to get wrecked by this and do half damage, basically. All right, 40% da less damage. All heroes and mercenaries hit by the pulse will have their attack rate reduced by 50%. Effect lasts 15 seconds. The, I mean, this is just like the screw you button, you're not going to hurt me anymore. You push that button, it does some damage, but it's also making it impossible for your enemy to hit you. And when they do hit you, it's not going to hurt as much. And the attack rate is going to be cut in half. So basically they're doing half the damage they were doing if and when they hit you. Because remember, they're, they're getting hit with a, a hit rate debuff. I mean, it's just, ouch. And that's just the Leo ability there. Okay, we'll walk along here. There's, okay, Fortitude Vitality. 
Fortitude Vitality level 2. Get some extra goodies here. Before it is destroyed, building armor would take 55% less damage from hero skills. When the armor is destroyed, nearby enemies' attack rate will be reduced by 15% for 10 seconds. Okay, this is where I think the panda's evolution kind of gets awesome. Okay, this is still pretty darn good, but this is just awesome. So every armor shield that the enemy takes out, once they take it out and knock it out, all those enemies that were attacking it or, or close by, their attack rate is nuked by 15% for 10 seconds. Do you know how hard it is to be able to clear a base with that kind of debuff on your mercenaries and heroes at all times, basically? It's going to be so annoying and slow. I mean, a 15% hit to attack rate. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but dang, that's that's a hit. That's a pretty big hit. So let's walk along here. Level 2, Divine Qigong. Fires a pulse at the enemy hero with the highest attack, dealing 15,000 plus 300% attack damage to it and all nearby targets. And it, oh gosh. Stop moving! Enemy hero will also be silenced for 17 seconds. While silenced, their hit rate will be reduced by 30% and their crit rate will be reduced by 35%. The pulse will then direct itself at the enemy hero furthest away to deal 30% less damage and without the silence effect. All heroes and mercenaries hit by the pulse will have their attack rate reduced by 60%. Effects, effects last 20 seconds. Oh, jeez. Good thing it's going to be a million years until people that I fight against will have a level 2 Divine Qigong. Level 3, Fortitude, Vitality. Before it is destroyed, building armor will take 75% less damage from hero skills. When the armor is destroyed, nearby enemies' attack rate will be reduced by 30% and will take 30% more damage. Last 10 seconds. So every time, this is just insane, insane. Every time your enemies take out a shield that's on one of your buildings, every everybody around that building's attack rate will be reduced by 30% and will take 30% more damage. This is the ultimate defensive tool. More on that in just a second. And then level three, divine Qigong fires a pulse at the enemy hero with the highest attack, dealing 30,000 plus 450 attack damage to it and, and all nearby targets. Enemy hero will be silenced for 20 seconds. While silenced, their hit rate will be reduced by 40% and crit rate will be reduced by 50%. I mean, geez. This is just a nuke to, like, for instance... On my squad, a Beast Demon, I've put everything into him. He's going to be my damage dealer. He has the, my highest attack. He's good, whatever. If someone used Divine Qigong on him, that's like taking out most of my team and making him impotent for however long this thing lasts. It's straight stupid. The Pulse will then direct itself at the enemy hero furthest away to deal 20% less damage and without the silence effect. All heroes and mercenaries hit by the pulse will have their attack rate reduced by 70% effects last 25 seconds. Damn. Golly. I don't know which one excites me more, the Fortitude Vitality or the Divine Qigong. I really like the, the Fortitude Vitality. I mean, think about it. Every one of my buildings has armor on it, right? And every time you pop one of those armors, guess what happens to your tune? Oh, let me show you what happens to your tune. Well, I mean, honestly, this is when it's at ridiculous levels. I don't think I have any tune at Aquarius. But imagine if I did. Every time you pop that shield, nearby enemy's attack rate is reduced by 30% and will take 30% more damage. It's a big screw you. You gotta love it. You just got to love it. 
All right, so now let's see the panda, the big fat panda in action. Just so you can see him move him around, doing his thing. He's no doubt going to shit all over these easy tunes, but I just want to see him. I just want to see what he does. Okay, there he is. Oh, bitch slapped you in the face. I'm going to use this ability. I'm going to back up a little bit just so I can actually see what's going on. All right, here it comes, Smack Daddy. Oh, okay. That's pretty big range on it. I didn't see what the cooldown was. I should have been looking. I think it was 12 seconds, maybe. All right, let's do level 10. All right, whew, don't know if I'll survive this. All right, so now I'm going to look at what the cooldown is on his ability. See what he does. Schmack. All right, here it is. Cooldown is 16 seconds. All right, 16 seconds. Big yin yang goes down on the ground. He does his thing, and we win. So, 16 seconds cooldown. I think the effect lasts, lasts uh, 10 seconds. Let's look at it. All right, so he does 7,240 damage plus 182% attack damage. Not too shabby. Enemy heroes caught in the blast will be stunned for 2.5 seconds. Pretty sweet. Got the knockback there. Attack rate reduction by 20% for 10 seconds. So you can almost perma have your opponent attack rate nuked by 20% here. This kind of just sounds like an also counter to not only Sharon, but to Abyss Demon, because most people will have Blockhead as an aid skill for Abyss Demon. And would you look at that? Blockhead, as an aid skill, gives a hero 40% attack rate. Well, the Fat Panda, I assume this is going to get to 40% at level 20. Direct counter to Blockhead aid skill. All right, guys, that's it for the Fat Panda. One last look at his evolution tree. I'll hit all the buttons just so you can see them. Pretty sweet defensive abilities. Pretty sweet divine ability. This guy is probably going to be a must for defenses. I mean, he's just insane when it comes to it. His fortitude vitality, insane. And then just slowing down the damage when you're attacking your opponent. I mean, he's going to be really good in Arena. He's probably going to be pretty good in Heroes Trials. It, it's going to slow down people with a bunch of wizards coming at you, probably. I like him. I like this guy. I'm excited for him. I want to get his evolution. No doubt that's going to be possible because he just came out and I don't have any money to just buy all his shards and get a bunch of pandas. But I want to. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you for everyone that shared the video yesterday of me getting the panda from 10 times rolls. I appreciate it. That was awesome. Got a lot of views on that. Keep it coming. Keep sharing it. This channel is picking up some steam. A lot of people are liking it. And I do all these videos because of you guys. You guys and your comments. And you, knowing you guys enjoy these videos is why I do this. Seriously. Because it ain't the income. I tell you that much. Like, subscribe, share. Find me on Twitter at MessyGamingArmy. Find me on Facebook at Messy Gaming. If you want to give a shout out to one of your guild members or your entire guild or somebody else, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to put it in the next video. That's all. Have a good one. Peace!